emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hi, and welcome back to part three of uh, the eModels build I'm doing. Um, it's the Meng's Kawasaki Ninja HR2. Um, it's the one nine scale pre colored option. So today we're going to be doing the swing arm, fix the back brakes on, and put it to the engine frame assembly and for the uh, rear wheel on as well. So we start off with this part, which you think would be over here, but anyway, this is the way Ming does it. So start off with this part, fit it in the uh, swing arm, attach the chain, and some fairings, and uh, work it down from there. Uh, there's one tube to do, uh, so we'll fit that and see how and where it goes and see whether it needs the copper wire again, because I think that worked very well in the last one. I'll see if we the uh, instructions away. So we start off with, so this is the 17 that we have pre-colored spring. It's really nice color, that green. So that fits over the top and then this top part Orientation right. It's a vaguely D shaped hole on there, and I'll go over the top of that. And very clear, let's have a look. Something like that. So anyway, let's give it a shove. There we go. So just double check its uh, orientation is right, but it seems to be. Uh, I suppose the model. So this part's black pointing towards me, and that's pointed away. So it seems to be right. So then we have the two halves of the swing on. So basically these two just uh, fit together like so. And the suspension fits in on this bottom hole on there and just these that part of it so like that and uh, obviously need a couple of screws to hold it all together so we have one of these screws I've used D yet the D will be one of these in here. Let's have a mixture of screws. So we'll get that open. We'll fish out. It's going to be one of the shorter ones. One of these down here. So we'll do it we'll up to the size guide. There you go. So it's that sort of screw. So that's screw D. Okay, and get the screwdriver, which is there. So 
now we fix the chain. Gonna turn it around so that was upside down. So it's the correct way around. Okay, so we got the chain, which is pre-coloured. That already has a, a cap in it, so that will fit around that gap there, like so. And then fit on. So you can see, so it's all black, it's a bit uh, tricky to see. So that fits on there, and there's a little screw hole, which is one of the little screw B's. some bearings on. So I think just have to work out which way or what goes first. with two screws. So one on that side. Those two match up. and then uh, we're away. Okay, 
so now it's held in place turn everything up Actually, tell you to use this screw. We'll focus, but the only way you can see on the drawing, it does show the head of a screw there on this side. So obviously, you do use the screw on both sides, even though instructions don't point in that direction. So then we fit in these three bearings, which by the looks of it just clip on. So start off with. So that will go into that slot. Like that. Um, oh, you notice there's a bit of a mark on the frame there. That's ready to come loose from the sprue. Uh, in the packaging, so it has left a little bit of a mark, unfortunately. Um, what have we got next? We've got the bigger part. So this one is A2. So that, that's a pointy thing, which will go into this hole here. Let's see. So I hope you can see, because everything's black, it's same sort of shape. No, just needs to slacken that a little bit. Go in and let's just put the end uh, point of your blade in to give it a couple of turns. Just sum it up a little bit. any bit of flash or something that might be on the uh, point of it. Okay, we'll try that again. Actually, there's another one pointer down here as well that uh, So you can see a bit clearer. So that's fitted on there. And the last one has. Let's get something to focus. Yeah, it's got a flat side. Yeah, flat top on that. D-shaped hole on there. So that will squeeze in there. Cleaned up. It wasn't a lot, but it's just stopping it from getting in the hole. So a light sand. And hopefully get that to fit. Right, 
So we'll do, we'll pause it there and I'll give it a bit of a fettle and I'll come back and get it fitted while we sit. Okay, so I've got it on. Um, just need a bit of a sanding. Uh, there's a bit of a groove along, um, bridge along the top of the, uh, the flat part on on here. So uh, let's give that a gentle file and it's uh, popped in fine. So we'll continue. So we've got all part seven done. So down to here. So next we're putting uh, parts of the brake on here with the uh, the hose. So I've already pre-cut the hose. It's the same as before. Measure it. Don't stretch it. Cut it off to the right length. We'll fill that in a bit. So we have first part of the brake. Goes on there, a um, bit of a spacer, and then the brake disc itself. Now this is metal, um, could call it photo etch, but uh, this photo etch, thick photo etch, and this stuff, it, uh, it's really quite sturdy. Uh, photo etch, this is all pre drilled on there, so it's pretty cool. So we'll start off with fixing part E3 which is this so that again just gets screwed down with a little uh, screw in there. So this part, the uh, the brake disc will fit in these screws. side of the brake disc. Okay, there's two little lugs, there's two little holes. And keep it going straight, give them a squeeze. Good uh, chrome pens, just touching up all the little black bits if they show. So I'll uh, touch that up in a bit. So that's got the brake disc and everything on there. It's not held on with anything because we're just waiting for the, uh, the wheel to go on. Okay, so that's part eight done. So I'm not put the hose on yet. I'll uh, that's the thing I about the hose. I mean the uh, on the picture it's two tone chrome with an attachment on here. But the model basically just a single strip. 
to be on the other side. They may have been able to do a little bit more detail there anyway. We'll uh, see how it all uh, comes out. So, turn the page. We have a bit in the wheel. So, wheel itself, um, you get the wheel hub and just a big uh, back wheel. Uh, did have a seam around it, so basically what done is giving it a good sand with what well, UMP's rough sanders. Um, it wasn't that one, but that's uh, where I got it from. Just give it a good scuff up just to take the uh, the seam off. I mean, you look carefully, it says it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. So, what we need is screw E, so that gives you a guide there, so we'll dig it out in a sec. And there it is. This part for it to screw into. Right. Hang on a sec, I'm spreading shoes. Uh, screws everywhere. Look at those, the bag was upside down. So, again, pause there and I'll go see it. Okay, looking enough, I found the uh, missing screw. So, this one we need a screw E. Do one of these. Again, try it up against the size. Just make sure you get the right one. So, that on one side. Before we go much further and fit it to the engine, we'll have a look at this uh, the tube and see where it goes and uh, how flimsy it is. So it fits on to there. Okay, well that seems to be it, so uh, it's really like that. So we'll see where this goes. Obviously attached to something there on the rest of the bag. Okay, so that's got the uh, tube in. Uh, what we might do, look and do, see whether this curve here needs any support from a bit of wire in it. But, uh, we'll move on. So now we fit spring arm to the rest of the bike. So this is the rest of the bike obviously. It's time to throw things about. So at this part we have 
another E screw and another B screw. So it's digging E out. So these screws, it's the uh, I've got two long, little short one, and the E ones are the ones that are in between. Okay, so what we'll do is offer it up to the back of the engine. So it looks like you've got these two parts here should match up to these two. And the top of this suspension arm fits into between there. from one side and one screw from the other. So I'll take the other one out in a sec. So we'll get this one fitted first. So it looks like it's uh, going to stay where it is. Let's line up. Come on. Sort the other side. just so it uh, has a bit of support that's all the way up tight just in case we need to adjust in any way okay so yeah actually there's not just the sign the square with the uh, two white triangles in basically says both sides so same screw in both sides there we go Attach the hose to, as I can remember, under here is another point next to the, I can see it, yeah, just see the top of it there. So attach it to that. Sure, sure, I can see it, but it's uh, all attached up there. So what we'll do now is we'll tighten things up. to fit our these two arms which basically join the bottom of the spring to the frame so like so so we need a couple of uh, B screws for both sides so four all together
just get the holes lined up and then we'll uh, drop screw in. There we go. It's been really quite awkward. Anyway, persevere. Side. So, same again on this side. So, what I'll do is so I get the screw started in the hole and then. position before we're it up then it uh, can swing it around. And the last one. the swing arm attached to the bike. Let's get that uh, tugged away, it looks a bit neater. There we go, that looks a bit more like a bike, aren't we? So that's the uh, swing arm and rear wheel attached. So we'll uh, call that part three done. Tidy up. So, uh, as always, pop along to uh, eModels, that's eModels.co.uk, brilliant website. Um, when this goes uh, those goes up, there'll be a link to where you can find this model. But I'll go look around the, uh, the website, it's uh, really good. Uh, brilliant prices on there as well. So, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to the uh, eModels channel. Um, and you can click the notification bell so when they, they put a new uh, build up from any of those builders and you uh, get notified straight away. So, emodels.co.uk, go and have a look.